And speaking of Akon, and I don't know if this is true or not, but it went viral. Have you heard about how Suge Knight said that Akon, he was messing around with underage girls? I, 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 didn't, I didn't hear about that. I hope that's not true. I hope that's not true. You know, as black men, we got to have a standard. Got to have a standard. And under 18 should be off limits to black men. You know, we got to have a standard. One of our weaknesses as brothers is our sexual indiscretion. Don't get me wrong. We all have our moments because we love black women, but we have to have a standard and we have to practice sexual discipline. Part of being a man is practicing sexual discipline. And I think that's the area where we really need to improve in as black men, because it is not leaving a good impression upon our women. No black woman should be concerned about walking out the room and leaving her daughter alone with you. That is a shame because we are the protectors. We're the protectors. If a mother can't trust her daughter with a protector of her own race, who can she trust her with? Now, with that being said, we do have, America has, a major underground child sex market. I don't know if you know this, but black girls, 14 to 17, and some reports say 12 to 17 is the most desired sex toy of the pedophile industry. 14 to 17, 12 to 17, the most desired toy of the pedophile industry. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because, as you know, our girls are being sexually desensitized at a very young age. And I don't like it. Because what it's doing is it's putting out an image that black women are sexually promiscuous. That's not a new image. It's been with us since the plantation. It's a lie. They made it up to justify the slave master raping our women by saying she wanted him to touch her. It was a cover for the rape. But nonetheless, this new age sexual promiscuity of black women feeds directly into the underground child sex slave market because it puts out a narrative that black women are sexually free so it doesn't matter if they get kidnapped and sold into sexual slavery we don't even need to look for them we don't even need to bother with them because after all they love to give up their coochie anyway so i want black women to stop sexualizing their daughters I don't want to see seven-year-olds in miniskirts. I don't want to see 12-year-olds with lipstick. I don't want to see 13-year-olds with their breasts popping out. Black women have to stop sexualizing our daughters. Now, some of them are going to say white women sexualize their daughters. They might. But guess what? When she calls the police and say her daughter is missing, an Amber Alert is going out in every, every county, every part of the country. When you call the police and tell them your daughter got kidnapped, there will be no Amber Alert because they don't value black life. So you have to look at the consequences of your actions and stop thinking because white girls do it. Black girls can do it. There's a double standard in this country. And if you don't recognize that, your child can suffer because of it.